Boxing Truth here. Just some post-fight thoughts on the Luis Ortiz Malik Scott fight. It was a chore watching this fight. It was absolute torture. Dreadful fight to watch. It wasn't Luis Ortiz's fault. He came to fight. He was trying to get the knockout. was trying to please some fans. But unfortunately for him, he had an unwilling dance partner. Malik Scott should be... I never want to see this guy fight again. And he should be withheld from... He should be... His purse should be withheld for the type of performance he put on tonight. Didn't even try to win the fight. Was on his bicycle as soon as the fight started. Was surviving. Wasn't even attempting to even to try to win the fight only average about 13 punches per round when you it's just hard to look good against a guy or knock out a guy that's just simply not trying to fight not trying to engage and just trying to survive which is what Malik Scott did veteran fighter he was able to survive but I'm not that's not impressive to me when you're not even trying to fight Ortiz landed a few knockdowns he scored a few knockdowns, showed some good counter punches to the body. Ortiz could have did a little more to perhaps secure the knockout. He could have been throwing more combinations. He could have cut the ring off a little better. He could have went to the body a little more. But had Malik been more aggressive, had he actually tried to come to win, Ortiz most likely would have gotten a knockout. It was a very easy fight to score. Ortiz won every single round. He was a guy coming forward, landing the bigger shots. Wasn't landing as clean as he would have liked because Malik was just in his defensive shell. And it's a disappointing start to Ortiz's promotional deal with Matchroom. The matchmaker for Matchroom needs to be talked to. Why, why would they get this type of defensive opponent? I mean, Malik Scott's a legit... Top 15, top 20 heavyweight, but he's not a guy that's it's not easy to look good against. And he was absolutely petrified fighting Luis Ortiz. I've never seen Malik so defensive ever. I mean, he's a defensive guy, but I've never seen him not try to win a fight. And that was the case tonight. And, uh, of course, there's going to be some critics... Ortiz stock perhaps dropped a little bit because of this um this showing against Malik Scott, but he dominated. He won every round, he scored a few knockdowns. But I saw some dumb shit already on boxing Twitter. Saw some some stupid shit like Malik's exposing Luis Ortiz. He's exposing them, right? Huh? <laughs> He's really exposing them by running away and not trying to fight and losing every fucking single round. Okay, whatever. But Ortiz, is, he's not the most effective chasing a guy around the ring. He needs guys to come at him or to be aggressive. If he has to chase guys down, he's not going to look as impressive. He's a, he's a counter puncher. He likes guys to come at him, at him as well. He needs the guys to, to be aggressive in order for him to showcase some explosive knockouts. And he's a guy that actually actually come try to fight him. Actually trying to win the fight. And Malik Scott did neither of that. Which is why the the, the the performance of Ortiz was disappointing. But he got some rounds in. Was coming off an eight month layoff. Was able to get a clear cut decision win. Not the best Quality performance, not the most exciting fight, but he got some rounds in and got the victory. And now he'll be back. He'll have a quick turnaround fight on the AJ undercard on December 10th, and hopefully Matchroom does a better job in their matchmaking. Get him, get him a guy that's going to come to fight, that's going to try to win, and also put him in there, put a, put a fighter with the type of style that will suit Ortiz best to make him look the how he should look, explosive, not not only dominant but explosive and display that knockout power that he has, but it takes two to tango. When a guy doesn't want to come to fight, this is the type of fight you're gonna get. But shitty fight between Ortiz and Malik Scott. Never want to see Malik Scott in the ring ever again. He just pretty much came to collect a check. That purse of his should be withheld based on his performance. He didn't. He didn't try to win. But it is what it is. Ortiz moves on with his career. 
got some rounds in, some activity, and hopefully they'll find a better opponent style-wise that actually will actually try to come to win. In order for us to get, in order for the fans to see the real Ortiz in action, unlike today. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.